Hey, Will here. So in this video, I thought I'd do a review of one of Gearbubble's biggest stores, and that is Aphrodite's. Now, they have a Shopify store, but they sell quite a bit on Amazon, as well as uh, TikTok and everywhere else. So what I thought I'd do is have a look at what, what they're doing, what they're selling, how big they are. Um, they do make a lot of sales, and I think their numbers are like six figures a month minimum. So if you want to see what a store is doing, like this is, when you scroll down to the bottom, you can see it is a Shopify store. Actually, if you ever want to check that, go to view page stores, and then just do control F and type in Shopify. And if you get like 315 results for the word Shopify, then you can tell that they are a Shopify store. So this is their Shopify store, and this is connected to Gearbubble. And this is one of their biggest ones. They're also on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon, we can find them here. Let's go to amazon.ca or .com, doesn't matter. And then just type them in. If I can spell it right. A-P-H-R-O IDs. Let's go to necklace. Should pull it up. There it is. And then you can click on that. Then we can get to their store on Amazon. So this is their store where they've got a whole ton of these uh, message cards and things like that. Looks like they raise their price a little bit. Not too much, but um, they have tons of products. If we go to all products, we can look at this. So they're selling on Shopify. They're also selling on Amazon. And if you ever want to make one of these type of necklaces, so it's basically a necklace, message card, and a gift box. I'll show you this one. That's the necklace. Um, do they have the gift box? That's the gift box. And that's the message card that it's on. You can do that. You can do that through Gearbubble if you want. And also uh, Shine On sells this type of jewelry too. So for example, if I look at this one, which is one of their top sellers, I'll just go to this page. They're selling it for $42.97 Canadian. That particular crown one, if I wanted to make one, I'd go to Gearbubble. And I go traditional and then precious next. And then if I just pick that one, the crown, you can see if I sold it for $54.95, I've had I'd have a $38 profit, but so I gotta convert that to US. So $42.97 Canadian to US, because I'm in Canada. So they're selling that for $33.23. So if I plug that in here, oops, you can see that their profit margin on that, um, if I wanted to sell the same thing, and if I wanted to charge the same price, my profit would be $16.28 per sale. So that's still pretty decent. When they list it on Amazon, it is always like, unfortunately a race to the bottom on Amazon, but this particular one from their store, I know it's selling very well because it's uh, it doesn't say love your love dad or love mom, which I think is a reason why it's doing so well. But they have some good reviews, they have some bad reviews, but that's Amazon for you. You can't please everybody. Anyway, the point is, this store um, is doing a ton. <laughs> like they make a ton of money. They sell all over the place. So one other place that you'll find them uh, quite a bit. Well, before we do that, let's go to Commerce Inspector and I'll show you. So if I go up here, I go to Commerce Inspector. Should load, there we go. So they get about 70,000 visitors a month, which is huge. You can see December is super for them. November, December, 100,000, 100,000. It's actually low right now because we're in the last stats were updated in June. But you see, they go up to like 300,000 visitors in December. So if we make some assumptions here on that 300,000 views, let's say they're converting at even a measly, I don't know, 1%. There's 3,000 sales right there in a month. So daily, that's 100 sales a day. And I know that they're doing a little bit more than that. So their conversion rate is a little bit higher because the store has been fully optimized. So. 100 sales a day, if we look at their Amazon pricing, that's about 1,600 a day times 30 days, 48,000 a month. If 
$586,000 profit per year. Now that's before um, any ad costs that they're running. And that's on the low end, assuming that this store is actually uh, getting a 1% conversion rate. If it's 2%, you double everything I just showed you. Now you're up to a million dollar a year store. They might even be a little bit higher um, just because I know that they've fully optimized this store 100%. So if you're looking at the main page, they have a lot of great stuff on here. There is some stuff that we can't get through any of, any of the platforms that I know of, and it's because they actually make this stuff themselves. So let's go back here. So we can look at that. Uh, the best sellers for the month. I mean, they want me to, I didn't buy Commerce Inspector, I'm just using the free one. But you can see traffic sources are social, paid referrals, mail, referrals, search, and direct. So it's not really clear that way, but you can get all their social links here as well from YouTube, um, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, what is that, Instagram, and Pinterest. So let's click on Instagram, see what they've got going on here. So they have 1,056 posts, 76,000 uh, followers, and they're following 97. But you can see they do have a lot of, there's badass besties. So they've taken that badass thing and really applied it to everything, to my mommy. Then they've got all this other stuff. Um, a lot of these items we can get uh, through Gearbubble. Some of them we can't. But um, I don't know. I, I bet if you requested it, they could probably get them. So let's look, let's go to Gearbubble and see. So you can get that sunflower one. You can get the sunflower bracelet. You can get the love dancing necklace. You can get the cross dancing, which is actually not bad. I have one of those here on my desk somewhere. I got three of these. Which one do I have? Yeah, there it is, right there. So this is the uh, cross dancing one. It's actually not too bad size wise. And that's the little, that's the basic box that it comes in. They also have an upgraded box, but works very well. So there's a cross one, and then there is the wishbone. And then these, they have sunflower ear earrings, Rising Phoenix, which is that one. Now this one, the Rising Phoenix, a lot of people actually ran into trouble trying to sell this on Amazon because there's some uh, copyright troll on Amazon that's trying to take down everybody's listings for that. So be careful with that. Uh, there's the crown right there, right? So, and there's another one too. The turtle one is available. So I think the turtle one is on here too, somewhere. But let's go to products, or let's go to trends. So top posts, nah, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, products, we did that. Ads, so we can look at their ads. Now, the ads on Commerce Inspector is not going to uh, give you the ball. Oh, what happened here? Huh. Nice. I did see the ads last time I looked at it. And if you ever want to see kind of what apps a store on Shopify uses, you can get Commerce Inspector for free. It's a Chrome extension, put it on there. And so you can tell they're on Bing. They're using uh, Clavio for their email. They have looks for photo reviews. And then they have Wheelio and TikTok. So speaking of TikTok, if you want to find any Shopify store's TikTok account, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And typically they will have this. They'll have their Facebook page. So, oh, hang on, let me go back. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. So you can see their Facebook page right here. And they've got, yeah, a bunch of products on here, a bunch of videos. There's Badass Wife. Um, so they're making a lot of posts there, which is great. And they're also running ads from here. And if you wanna see the ads they're running on Facebook, you can go here. Just copy their name, then open a new browser and go facebook.com slash ads slash library. Then right in here, we can plug in, uh, we'll put all, put ad category of all ads and then that. And then you can actually see right on Facebook's site, uh, this is like Facebook's ad spy tool. So I can see every single ad they're running. I can see the details. They started ads basically today. There's one from the fourth, another from the fourth. So they got a daughter one up, sister, unicorn. And what you can do when you're looking through this, if you kind of sort by um, oldest to newest, 
you can do different, yeah, you can apply a different date. Just scroll down the bottom, it's easiest. You can see which ads are oldest. And typically, if you're a marketer, uh, Pandora's box, no, not that. So if I'm looking for a message card, kind of the oldest one would be something like this, which started running on July 10th. So we click on see ad details. Surprise any expecting or new mummy with this heartfelt gift. P.S. Some happy tears may be involved. To my mummy, I may just be a bump, but I love you more than you ever know. Keep this close to your heart until I can meet you and rest in your arms. Love, kisses, and kicks from your tummy. So like who would buy that? Well, the husband or a family member would buy that for the mom and maybe give it to her as like a, what they call it now, a push gift. But that's something when you, you, you can even click like shop now. It'll take you right to the page, which is most likely a Shopify store, which it is, which is the one we were looking at. So they're selling that for $66. That's Canadian. There's the details. They got videos. They got everything on here. They got reviews. Um, store wise, me personally, I'm not digging these colors at all. Uh, but uh, maybe I'm a color snob. I don't know. I just, I don't like this color of, of gold with the green and with the uh, purple. It's not my thing. I don't know, maybe it converts the best, but I, I actually think the store is kind of, well, it's not my style. I'm not gonna say it's ugly, it's just not my style. Then they got this flash sale here, down at the bottom, which I'm sure is, I'm sure this flash stuff works, but typically when you're running Facebook ads, they don't like that kind of trickery. So you gotta be careful. Uh, maybe I've been through a couple ad accounts already, I don't know, but you can see that if I see something that old from a store on Facebook ads in the library, then I know that I can make my own version of it and I could run Facebook ads to it. I wouldn't run Facebook ads, but I could run my own ads to it um, and I'll probably do very well. So that's just how you do the Facebook ad part. But for me, they got like their Pinterest board. You can look at that. So we're just trying to explore how, how a successful store is marketing and what they're selling. So there you go, there's their Pinterest board and you can see they're really only going to list like their best stuff on here because they have a lot of products. And then Instagram, which we already looked at. So these stores basically leave a lot of clues and a lot of trails as to what's working. There's Twitter. And you got to think, oh, this is TikTok, sorry. Um, if a store has all this social media going on and they're, they're doing high volume, there's a reason. And the reason is it works. And that means that you as a seller should be doing that too. So whenever you see a big store that's doing more volume than you, you should be kind of taking those clues and applying them to your own. So you should have all these accounts. You should have Pinterest and Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. And what was the last one they had here? They even have Snapchat. Like, I don't even know if I can open Snapchat. I'm not, my kids are on this, but yeah, I'm not on there at all. It says content not found. And then they have a YouTube channel. So they're actually listing. They don't have very many, very much on here. Looks like it's fairly new, but they're putting shorts and they're putting these on here, probably for their ads that they're running on YouTube. That would be my guess. So let's go back to TikTok because I think stores like this, especially in the jewelry world with Shopify, they're running a ton of TikTok ads. And the cool part of TikTok is when you find um, their account, you can click on it. And you can see how many views all of these videos have. And it's super easy to find like the most popular products on their store. So if I'm just scrolling through real quick, trying to see views, views, views. That one's got 218, 858. Thought I saw one, yeah, 1266. So this particular one, which again, to have a badass daughter, get her the perfect gift. They just shot like a model opening the box and did a quick cut or a quick pan over to her. So that little simple ad on TikTok is probably doing very well for, for them. I would think they got a lot of likes. I actually would have expected a little bit more, but maybe they just got started on TikTok. Uh, no, that's from a while ago. So I don't know how strong their TikTok game is for their ads, but um, to me that indicates that it's not their primary selling platform because I know of other stores that are on TikTok and they're doing a lot more. So I would think for this store, um, this is their primary selling platform, which is uh, Amazon. And now you too, you can list products on Amazon and you can sell them, 
but they're doing um, Amazon FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon. So they'll take like this one to my mother. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living your baby, I'll be. Ooh, be careful with that because that's a Robert Munch book and they could get in trouble for that if he catches them. Um, I just know that because I have five girls and I've read that book to them. But they've taken this product and they've shipped it to Amazon and then um, they're listing it on their store, but Amazon will actually ship it immediately because Amazon holds this product in the warehouse. So this type of um, business is a little more difficult to do. Uh, just dollar wise, it costs more because you have to buy all the inventory up front, ship it to Amazon, and then you basically have to hope it sells. Whereas something like this, for guys like, like for a guy like me, it's easier because we can use print on demand to run like a Shopify store. Uh, very easily for this. So anyway, if you're ever wondering, you know, what's working, what's not, just go look at the big stores. You can find them very easily. If you're on TikTok, you're going to get a lot of ads for them. Whenever you see an ad come up for a message card, like it, and then you'll, you'll get all this stuff. So uh, gifts for, I think daughter is a big one, which was my biggest niche as well. Um, but they have a lot of stuff that's beyond message cards too. You are my sunshine, advice from a sunflower, badass baby mama to my daughter. Yeah, there's a ton of this stuff on here. So I think this store, I would bookmark it and I would use it as an example of kind of a very successful Shopify store that is also on all the different social media platforms as well as um, the biggest e-commerce site of them all, which is Amazon. And there's nothing stopping you from creating your own store on Amazon, creating your own brand, and then using Amazon FBA to do this as well. If you're using a company like Gearbubble, they actually offer this now too. Uh, they have Amazon FBA, which is, I think this, I can't remember where it is. My account, do I have the dropship dashboard? Oh, not in this account, in my other account I do. Yeah, I think they're charging here. Oh, the free plan, okay. I just, this is my dummy account because I don't want to show all my products to everybody. But you can do Amazon uh, FBA with message cards from Gearbubble uh, through actually Aphrodite's and uh, they'll print it. No, though, I think it's 25 order, 25 minimum necklaces that you have to buy up front and then you have to ship it. They'll ship it to Amazon with the box label and the individual box label. And I think for one of them, it was like $473 for 25 of them, something like that. So I worked it out and it actually worked out to, uh, I think it was on my other, on my forums here. Just give you an example, it's in here. Well, let me search. Uh, this by the way is my uh, print on demand forums where every month I do a live course and I teach people how to do print on demand. Um, the, the focus now for here is Shopify and Etsy and one other uh, really good store platform. Anyway, uh, Amazon FBA Mirror is here. Store link. Product breakdown, here it is. So I did a post a while back and I said, yeah, if you wanted to do 25, it costs you 450, 459. But um, if you don't sell, you're out of money. Okay, so here's what I plugged in as a price at that time was $37.87 and then Amazon will charge you $8.56. This is Amazon FBA. And then they'll charge you $3.72 for a fulfillment cost. And then there's a two cent storage cost. So the estimated cost per unit is $12.30. Your net profit per unit is $25.57, which is fine. So you have $25.57 left, but uh, that is just Amazon's FBA side. You still have to pay the base cost to like gear bubble to ship them. So what I did is I took 25.57 minus, I uh, worked it out to 18.17. So your profit for a sale on Amazon FBA, um, price that what they're pricing that is $7.40. Now, if I did my math wrong, I apologize, but I did a whole thing in here um, because they were actually promoting uh, something where they uh, have a course where you can do Amazon FBA, but then you can use Amazon PPC, so pay-per-click, in order to promote your FBA listings. And I said, okay, so uh, clicks on there are about $2, give or take. 
So you could pay um, basically $7.40 divided by $2 equals 3.7 clicks to your product. So your conversion rate on that click has to be super high for you to do anything. And we all know with traffic, it's never that high. So I think um, FBA is really a volume game. It's, it, it is. And then I did an example here. Let's say you wanted to do like 10,000 a month uh, in Amazon FBA. So 10,000 divided by 185, that would be your profit if you on that whole box. Uh, so 54 times you'd have to be ordering 25 boxes from Gearbubble. So you're looking at 54 times 454 59, $24,547.86 up front that you have to pay just for the boxes. And you'd be selling uh, 1,350 units per month. So your revenue is basically 50,179.50. And this revenue number is what you'll typically see from uh, Amazon FBA guys. They only show you the revenue, revenue. They don't show you the cost. Your profit would actually be just shy of $10,000. So your fees to Gearbubble and Amazon would be $40,189.50. Your ROI on that deal would be about just shy of 20%. So bottom line to me, Amazon FBA is great. Um, it's a volume game. You have to have a deep pockets to do it. And I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying that um, there's a lot of different risks involved that don't exist in the print on demand world. So anyway, if you wanna see that thread, Go to uh, ppc-coach.com, join the group coaching program, uh, type in Amazon FBA product breakdown. That was in June, I did that. And you'll see that whole thread that you can respond to. Anyway, um, I think we covered enough. So just to summarize, this store is huge. Okay, they're doing a ton of volume on not, not only Shopify, but on Amazon as well. And they're using all the social media um, accounts that I would use to do it. And they're running even ads. I don't know if they're running ads yet on TikTok, but they, I, I think they should. If, if I were them, I'd be running Pinterest and TikTok. Um, I wouldn't really be running Facebook ads because I don't find them to be very good at all. Uh, with the caveat that I'm also um, banned from Facebook, so I don't use them at all. I'm still, I still make a lot of money. Anyway, uh, we'll close with that. If you guys have any questions about this or you want to see any other breakdown of, of big Shopify stores or big print-on-demand sellers, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to uh, review any store you find. And I can do some digging, some research, and give you my thoughts, and uh, we'll go from there. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.